ingredients that we need to make our maple baked beans. One cup of chopped yellow onion, half a pound of bacon chopped, one tablespoon of dry mustard powder, one bag of white navy beans, and half a cup of pure 100% Canadian maple syrup. Today we're going to be cooking our beans over the fire so we're going to need a cast iron pot but if you don't have a cast iron pot and you want to cook them in the oven then a traditional bean pot will work just well. Now beans actually have a toxic substance in them so before you get cooking your beans over the fire you have to boil them for at least half an hour. Just dump them in your pot and top it off with water just to cover. So this is my way of ba making baked beans. So I like to take the, uh, the water from the beans that you boiled on the stove and I leave it in the beans. And then I just dump it in. Um, I find that the water adds a bit more flavor and some of the starch from the beans is inside that water. So I like to leave it in. And then the rest is actually pretty straightforward. Just add everything into the pot and give it a stir. So put your bacon in, your onions, your mustard powder, and your maple syrup. And top it off with a little water. a little stir and a little salt and pepper and we'll adjust this a little bit more later on. This smells really, really good, even though it's not even cooked yet. So imagine what it's gonna smell like later. This pot is really, really heavy. So we're gonna cook it over the fire. So you need something very sturdy to hang it from. You don't have to hang it. This pot actually has three little legs underneath it. So if you don't have something to hang it on, you can just put coals underneath it and coals on top. That's what this lip is for and that's what the legs are for. Um, so you can cook it that way, but I have something to hang it from above, so that's how I'm going to do it today. So let's go outside and see what John's up to. So I just went outside and checked the beans and they're nice and thick and they're creamy so they've been in they've been cooking all day long so I think they're done so I'm gonna go outside and bring them in and we'll serve them up for dinner okay so I just pulled the beans off the fire they're all done they're nice and creamy and they've been on they've been on the fire pretty well all day long so they probably about eight hours they've been on the fire so let's open her up and I'll show you what they look like Wow, these beans came out really, really good. They always come out really good, but today they came out 
in particular really, really good. So um, even if you don't have a fire in the backyard or anything like that, make them in the oven. Um, the, you know, they really come out the exact same way, except for, you know, the thrill of making it on the fire. And it has a little bit of uh, the smoky flavor in it. Um, but other than that, it's great. And, um, you know, it's perfect for this time of year. It's maple season. Uh, make some pancakes with syrup and some baked beans. And you really can't go wrong. So, folks, thank you very much for uh, watching the video and watching me make this recipe. It's one of the highlights of my year getting to make baked beans on the fire. Um, and uh, I really enjoy doing it. So, uh, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.